Mm, I wouldn't trust the computer if I were you. Just because of some things that happen later on. But I'm not gonna spoil that for anyone who hasn't played this awesome game yet. So much fun. I still have it on my Game Boy. I play it every now and then. The navigation room. Look at all that map data. Almost the entire room is like hidden. We have to unlock it. This room's actually like super big. I have learned the identity of our mysterious saboteur, Samus. It's an X mimicking you. I have named it the Sa X or S A X. I believe the Sa X came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. It used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all of the X that started this disaster. But the Sat X is definitely our biggest worry right now. The Sat X is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the Sat X, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold, an unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by Ice Beam. Of course, the Sat X is armed with Ice Beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the Sat-X traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release it. The level 1 helix. But, per safety protocols, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own, somehow, Samus. So, find the security room and unlock level 1 hatches. Then go to the data room and get the bomb data. Is your objective clear? Keep an eye out for the Sat X. Okay, so the Sat X is me at full power, and you run into him a handful of times throughout this adventure. Every time you see him, you just have to run away, which I thought was really fun. Really a great addition to the game, just running away from your evil clone. Here are the stupid worms that take two shots to kill. I mean, two missiles. Two missiles. Luckily they drop missile stuff. And one more. Crap. If I was more veteran at this game, I could just shoot missiles without having to worry about it. Oops. Okay, I know where the security lock's at. No need to go adventuring for it. I'm just gonna jump over these stupid things or just run into it like an idiot. This is the tropical zone. They all pretty much look like a space station, but it's tropically. The security room is all mechanical and shit, while everything else outside is all green. Security level 1 unlocked. Blue hatches now active. Well, that's great because I couldn't get out of this room unless they were. At one point in the game, you actually unlock a hatch while without the computer's commission, and he gets all mad at you. Like, no one gave you permission to unlock those hatches. Otherwise, you'll find out what we've been doing this whole time. Is there a... I think there's a... Oh shit, you didn't die. I know there's like a secret over here somewhere. I think maybe you can't unlock it unless you get the bombs first. Whoa, I almost hit those stupid things that turn into wasps later on in the game, which is totally kind of cool. This is the only point in the game where you fight these caterpillars because they turn into wasps later. Ah, uh, not like that though. Not as annoying as those, but similar. The data room. This room gets like destroyed immediately after you use it. Or does it? I think it stays the same actually. Ah, I'm scared. Let's use bombs to get an upgrade. Upgrade. More missiles to take down stuff quicker. And then a bomb right here to go down. 
lots of platforming. It's just a save room over there. Oh shit, I'm actually like, really low on health. There's a lot of platforming. I'm not kind of clumsy today at this game, so I think saving's in my best interest. I mean, look how low on health I am. Damn. Ah, why am I not using my missiles? One, two. Let's go over here and get an upgrade. Is there an upgrade over here? Oh, there it is. That little bomb right there. Uh, did I get it? Yeah, I think I did. Where the hell is it at? Uh, seriously? It should be right here. It just turned into that stupid thing already. Ah, uh, god damn it. Maybe it's along this wall? No, it's not. It, it's, it is one of these. There it is. <sighs> I knew it was one of the hidden ones. I don't know how I missed it though, considering I scattered the bombs like crazy right there. Alright, that's enough of that one. Lots of bomb platforming. One, two, three, four. Missiles each. I think you have to go to the second one right here. There we go. Two missiles each. These things are tanks. Running low on health. Oh, oh I thought it was like a normal sector for a second. Ah, don't kill me. Oh, I thought for sure this was like that. Damn it, this thing keeps dodging me. Oh shit. <laughs> no, stop hitting me. Stupid assholes are immune to my weapons and shit. Is there a missile upgrade in there? I don't think there is. I think you just get trapped if you don't jump. Alright, so these things. Pain in the ass. Nothing dies in one hit anymore. Looks like I have to find the hidden things. There it is. Kill these little hats. I think that's what they are. I don't think there's anything here. Maybe there's a save room over here. I don't remember that. something over there. Oh, it is a save room. Okie dokes. Just avoid these things, they're a pain in the ass. And that thing goes dead. What's over here? Oh yeah, you don't come over here until later. When you use it to run away. Oops, I missed that one. It took me like six. <laughs> really gotta stop wasting these. Uh, I think there's an upgrade over here, but I can't get it yet. That's like the high jump boots from this next boss. What's over 
here. Nothing. You don't come over here until you get like the... Those one boots that let you jump forever. Those are fun. Uh oh, I really gotta stop shooting missiles. I'm all out of ammo. <laughs> Alright, save room right before the boss. About to go fight the boss with no missiles. Good thing they have that red axe right before the door. Alright, if I want to grab this, I have to run and jump. Got it. Oh, I guess I don't have to run and jump. <laughs> This is lagging. Ah, don't lag on me. There's no reason for you to be lagging here. Damn it. That's fine. This game going in slow motion, that actually kind of helps me out. Love it if you just open up your eye already. Oh, cool. Only two charge beams. Damn, 45 missiles. Let's hope it stops lagging. Time to fight the penis boss. Jump, 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 jump. Two and... Okay. So close. We got jump number one, two, three... Here it goes. Ah! So close. One, two, three. Here it goes. Four, five. Ah, oh, almost got it. Damn it, I only stood there because I thought it for sure was going to be the last one. Oh shit, totally swift that one. Okay, so when he's at this level, he just jumps up and goes straight for it. Damn it, die already! There you go. Now this thing, which takes about four hits, I think. Damn it. This stupid thing keeps juking me out. Ah! Yeah, four hits. They usually don't take longer than that. High jump and jump ball abilities recovered. Now I can jump high as shit. High as shit. Did you see how high I jumped right there? Look at those jumps. I gotta even jump in my ball form. That's not something you see very often in these other games. But you can't go down here? I thought for sure you could. Okay, after this, looks like these guys have finally gone into the cocoons. Thank a god. Because they're a pain in the ass. I'm going to save right here for obvious reasons, if you've played this game before. Now let's go down here. Now that all the caterpillars are cocoons, it's time to escape. I think there's... No reason to worry, I guess. Oh, looks like I don't even need to come over here. <sighs> Wasted my time. Wasted my Tim. I'm pretty sure you can't get over there. Yeah, I need power bombs for that. Almost dodged all that. Okay, now that the door is destroyed, I think I go down here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I could go mess with him, but I'm more likely gonna die. <laughs> Cause this dude follows you through the doors if you run out. Plus, his abilities take away like a bar and a half health. I think I'm just going to not engage him for now. 
Look at all these things. They make nice little stepping stones. Damn, I jump so high. It's like this arena was made for these jumps. Really makes the whole jump in a lot easier. Since you don't really have to worry about it. Ah! And I think there's a thing in here. Yep, there he is. There be. And so close. here and let's head on to sector four since it skips sector three for some reason that's how it works maybe you do go into sector three i don't remember to be honest weapons and energy fully restored i'll go to the save room at the other sector navigation room samus we've got trouble releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea the Sa'ex has invaded the watery environment in Sector 4. Aqua, or AQA, with several thousand X. With the blue hatches active, the Sa'ex slipped in easily. The creatures and ecosystems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. I'm currently investigating. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Is your objective clear? Now head out for Sector 4. Yes, boss. It's the Sat X, the guy who I just let go away while I stood up there scared, hoping he wouldn't attack me. The Sat X, an enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have reason? Probably not, it's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The Sat X is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. A Sa'ex unleashed on the universe would be a bad idea. That dude would wreak havoc considering how strong Samus is. Yeah, you go to Sector 4, you don't go to Sector 3 until later. I think you might even go to Sector 5 before you go to Sector 3. Or I don't know, I don't remember exactly. Sector 4, the water area. Although you can't really see all the water parts because they're hidden, just like in Sector 2. This sector has taken more damage than expected. I know the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the Sat X has a high degree of intelligence. I find the X fascinating, especially the Sat X, but I digress. This sector is home to a very large creature, the researchers called Ceres. It is capable of moving and attacking at ultra high speeds. The more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attributed to Ceres. No doubt the Sa'ax released it, but I can't be sure why yet. Ceres has returned often to the breeding tank here. Its natural behavior must be to go back to it periodically. It's a valuable specimen, but you have to be. But you have been authorized to terminate it. If you don't, it may invade other sectors. Is your objective clear? While you're moving, be careful. Some broken power nodes have electrified the water, but we can't cut the power. Doing so would affect the whole station adversely. If you touch the water, you'll be electrocuted. Conserve energy as you go. Shouldn't say you'll be shocked, because electrocuted is when you're like killed from electricity. Because it used to be like electricity and execute. Electrocute. Put together.